Would you allow me to search your vehicle? Okay, what I'll do um, is we have a canine pretty close, so I'm gonna have the canine come out and do a walk around your vehicle. That way it'll go quicker. Um, but just, I, I have some reasons to believe that there might be something in your vehicle. I've been wrong before, but there's just some things I'm seeing that makes me wanna go a little further with the investigation, okay? So that's that's what we're gonna do. I'll wait for a canine. The canine will walk around the outside of your vehicle. If it alerts to anything, then we'll do a search of the vehicle. Okay, so he got a he got a positive alert on your driver's side door. Is there anything anything small that you know of? I'm gonna have you sit in the back seat while I search. Um, I'm not gonna put handcuffs on you or nothing. Right, you're, but you are detained because of the positive alert. If we don't find nothing in there, then you'll be good to go, man. Okay. You have any questions? All right. Yeah, it's five in number. The civil rights lawyer on YouTube has uncovered a serious case of alleged police misconduct. I try not to be a jerk about things because nine times out of ten, this is what happens. So. NPR would then have more, and it is damning, to say the least. A newly filed federal lawsuit in Texas shows cameras' potential to undermine K-9 unit legitimacy. Houston resident Alex Schott accuses Bexar County Sheriff's Deputy Joel Babb of pulling him over on I-35 on false pretenses, and then when he refused to give permission to search his pickup truck, he says K-9 Unit Deputy Martin A. Molina III prompted his dog to, quote, alert to the scent of the drugs. Shot, seen here, is the one who requested police body cam footage. Thus, it gave him the exact view as the canine handler, specifically the handler's right hand, appeared to make a gesture to signal to the dog, who would then jump. It's clear to me that he's telling the dog to alert, Shot said. Do you have anything in your vehicle that you're not supposed to have? Do you have any marijuana in the vehicle? Any cocaine? Mm -hmm. Any heroin? And that's black or brown. Uh, any THC oil, THC wax, dates, anything of that nature? Um, any types of... Uh, uh, methamphetamine being crystal or liquid, any pills that aren't prescribed to you, any hallucinogens being THC oil, THC wax, anything like that. Do you have any large sums of money over $10,000? Do you have any types of anything illegal? Has anybody asked you to carry anything in your vehicle? And are you the only person that's uh, driven this vehicle for the last 48 hours? Would you allow me to search your vehicle? Christy Hebert, seen here, is representing shot in pending litigation. You think of a dog as not having an agenda, she says, but the fact is they're influenced by their handlers' agenda and they want to please their masters. That's long been a nagging doubt about drug-sniffing dogs that handlers might influence them to alert to a scent that may not be there. Research has shown handlers may not even realize they're doing it. Some canine trainers have called for double-blind testing of the dogs, in which the location and existence of test drugs are randomized, unknown even to the dog's handlers. But that approach has been slow to catch on and is often met with hostility. Other canine trainers say the video is not a slam dunk and that there could be innocent explanations for the gesture. But one thing is clear to them, going forward, canine units should expect their every move and gesture could come under review after the search is over.